Okay, fire hydrant kickbacks. For this exercise, you begin on all fours, then you lower down to one forearm so your body's on a tilt. You take this leg, bring it out to the side with your toe pulled to your shin, extend the leg back, bring it back down, lower it and repeat. So the movement looks like so. So it's fire hydrant, kick back, fire hydrant, down. The biggest mistake people make is they don't go high enough on the fire hydrant position. They're just kind of like this, which doesn't work the muscles very well. Make sure you lift it up and out as much as you can. Okay? And make sure you keep your foot pointing towards your shin, not pointing away. Can so you do that again? Keep the foot pointing, foot pointing towards the shin, not pointing away. So if you watch me here, my foot is pointing to my shin, it's not doing that. It's like that. Then we extend it back and repeat like so. The other mistake people make is they forget to go down onto the opposite forearm. They start from up here. From this position here, you just can't get the exercise to work the glutes that well. You can't target them as well. So you gotta remember to lower down onto that forearm. If this gets too easy over time, you just wear a weighted anklet, okay? You can get them in lots of big box stores. They weigh two to five pounds, Velcro them around your ankle, then you can do the exercise that way. This exercise works all three of the glute muscles. It works the glute medius, glute minimus, and the glute max to help balance out the hips.